Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boodoo. Real estate is probably the most talked about topic in South Florida right now. From foreclosures to short sales and sky-high property taxes, we are all affected by this market. Some experts say this is the time to get a deal, but is it? I'm joined today by Claudio Rivero, a local realtor with Keller Williams Eagle Realty. He deals primarily in real estate worth between $100,000 to $600,000. Thanks for coming in today, Claudio. My pleasure. So tell me, in that price range that you're dealing with, I bet you're getting a lot of first-time home buyers. What kind of advice would you give them? Well, I would definitely get them to get pre-qualified first. A lot of the home buyers that are calling our office, they want to go see properties before they've gone through the process. Uh, the problem with that is a lot of the properties are moving within 30 to 60 days, so they definitely need to get their finances in order so they can make an offer and beat out the other buyers on those properties. And with those properties moving in 30 to 60 days, I'm sure a lot of people are looking at foreclosures. What about short sales? Well, I'm surprised to find out how many people that call our office and they don't know what's involved in a short sale and they don't know what a short sale is. Uh, in a short sale process, the seller is selling the property for less than what they owe the bank. So it's a good opportunity for a potential buyer to get a better deal than they would through a foreclosure. And is there any disadvantages to a short sale? There is a disadvantage, the timing. If you're looking to buy a property and close in the next 30 to 60 days, a short sale would not be something you would look at. Usually short sales take anywhere from 40 to 60 days minimum and can take up to six months. And what kind of programs are out there to help uh, first-time home buyers? Well, I'm sure everyone has heard of this first home buyer credit. It's $8,000. The thing that people don't know, that it's $8,000 or 10% of the purchase price, whichever is less. So that's something people need to, to know. Also, with the first-time home buyer credit, to qualify, you have to be in the property for three years after you purchase. And to be a first-time home buyer, you cannot own a property for the past three years. Okay, great. Well, great. That's great advice. Thanks so much for joining us My today. My pleasure. That was Claudio Rivero. And finally, for veterans out there, convenience store chain 7-Eleven is offering a franchise discount fee for the first time ever. The chain is looking for retired military vets for a new program. If they've been honorably discharged, the veterans are eligible for a 10% discount of the initial franchise fee. That could be anywhere from $1,000 to up to $35,000 worth of savings. 7-Eleven says they currently have about 400 stores available to be franchised throughout the state. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boodoo.